Perpetrators, who are they and who funds them? Exodus 10, 21, and there will be such intense darkness that one can feel. St statistics show that at least 75% of all targets do not know their perpetrators. Repeat that again. St statistics show that at least 75% of all targets do not know their perpetrators, which means they're, that they're just completely complete strangers. That means that most organized stalking is done by complete strangers. <laughs> Read that one more time. St statistics show that at least 75% of all targets do not know their perpetrators. That means that most organized stalking is done by complete strangers to complete strangers. Wow. It is estimated that a large percentage of perpetrators are unemployed. Wow. It is estimated that a large percentage of perpetrators, a.k.a. bots, a.k.a. NPCs, a.k.a. gang stalkers are unemployed. That's the reason why they're doing it. At least 50 percent. This explains why perpetrators are always available. Mm, ain't that something? Is everybody always able to synchronize with you when you walk out the door? Meet you at Walmart or the gas station or wherever you go. This explains why perpetrators are always available at any time. Harassing strangers at their job. The perpetrators are the perpetrators or attackers are often paid in small amounts of money and have gas and other related expenses paid for by the group, gang, or criminal organization they represent. Remember, this is a criminal organization, okay? It's well organized. It's a well-kept secret that's going on here in America, and not just in America, but pretty much all over the world. Some are paid in drugs or are trying to achieve a higher position within the organization. Most perpetrators are bottom of the barrel, low lifes, and substance abusers. I'll read that again. Just in case for the people in the back that didn't hear me. Most perpetrators are bottom of the barrel, low lifes, and substance abusers. Often former criminals themselves. Basically unfit for any regular job. Wow. Many perpetrators were once themselves targets. Mm. Many perpetrators were once themselves targets. And this is the reason why they don't talk, y'all. You see what I'm saying? This is the reason why they out to get you because then they don't say nothing because they know that they was once probably in you. I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all, but they was once in your shoes and they know they probably didn't dealt with the V2K, the electronic harassment, everything. So they know not to say nothing. You see what I'm saying? And at the same time, they know that's the reason why they can do this to you. And you be like, man, why are you doing this to me? And I can just bust you beside your head. But see, they they don't they don't care because they know that there's a power that be that's that's way more advanced than you. So they be like, man, look, I fear these other people than you. I guess it's like a, it's like a candlestick burning on both ends. I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. Either you gonna take me out, which is the the AKA the TI, or I, you just get taken out. The perpetrator get taken out by the organization. You know what I'm saying? Many perpetrators were once themselves targets, coerced to become perpetrators to avoid further harassment. Wow. What motivates a perfect stranger? What look at look at this, y'all. What motivates a perfect stranger to harass another person completely? Now, see, I get I get harassed by old women, young women, male, female, it don't matter. You have an 80 year old lady driving the car, you know, trying to run you off the road or something. It's just crazy. What motivates a perfect stranger to harass another person 
completely unknown to them. Perpetrators are almost always given misinformation about the targets they harass, such as the target is a pedophile, homosexual, or they pose a threat to the safety of the country. Sometimes the perpetrators are told they are really spies whose plans include sabotaging the U.S. government. If they're working for the shadow government or black operative groups, they may be paid well for their harassing and taunting of the targets to which they are assigned. You will get some money, y'all. You gonna get some money. Some perpetrators just participate for fun or kicks. Now, see, of course, you got those type too. You know what I'm saying? You got the one, the young bulls, the young people that's out there doing it. They don't even know no better. So these are perpetrating, you know what I'm saying? They just, you know, oh man, you know, this looks like fun. We could just play this game, you know. Some of the people I could tell, they was probably once targeted. And remember I told you a story about the white boy that told me that he was once targeted and that he became the perpetrator. He said he was suffering with V2K. He was the one that told me about the receptors being planted into his brain. Yeah. These are deeply disturbed, psychotic, sociopathic, delusional, and depressed individuals. Let me read that again for the ones in the back. These are deeply disturbed, psychotic, sociopathic, delusional, and depressed individuals in the back. <laughs> Ain't saying it ain't, 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 ain't saying in the back though. It's delusional and depressed individuals. There are basically two types of perpetrators: operator operators as controllers, operators or controllers are at the top of the group and usually select the target. Mm, okay. There are basically two types of perpetrators. Operators or controllers are at the top of the group and usually select the target. Additionally, they are in charge of giving orders to be carried out by the second group of perpetrators. The grunts or henchmen. These are the ones who flash their high beam lights at targets. Mm, y'all y'all listening. Y'all listening, man. The grunts or henchmen, these are the ones who flash their high beam lights at the targets. Who, 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 who get the who get the lights, the bright lights and in the daytime, nighttime? It says honk their horns or yell obscenities at the passing targets, like curse words or stupid stuff. In order to motivate the henchmen, the operators provide them with misinformation about the targets, often pictures of the targets taken while they were drugged. During their abduction process, hold up. Yeah, during their abduction process, will show the target in humiliating situations, sometimes involving small children or engaging in lewd sexual acts. Now you already know we got Photoshop now. You know what I'm saying? If you got a picture of somebody, man, they could easily do something with a picture. You know what I'm saying? They could just take your picture and Photoshop it with a child or whatever, or or, or, or robbing a 7 Eleven. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It ain't no telling. See, I don't think like these people. You see know what I'm saying? These 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 people are are on some wicked, devilish type of mindset. I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I don't my mind don't go down that road of trash and filth. Now, I'm I'm I always think about prosperity in my life and building my life, but I realize that I'm in a world where you got a lot of people that don't think like that. They think about just the low, just the dirtiest things that you could do to a person. You see what I'm saying? Most of the time, the um most of the time, the low end perpetrator is given negative information about the target that will further incite him or her. Fueling the drive to torment the target with greater intensity. Oh, yeah, we got to get this mug. He did what to that child? Oh, yeah, we got to get him. See, my thing is this, though. What about your family, though? Your family knows lies. But still, your family participate in it. I guess because they scared. There's a third group of perpetrators known as the Sandmen. These criminals usually operate in groups of three and are responsible for drugging the targets abducting them from their residence and transporting them to an undisclosed surgery center. Man, that's crazy. Oftentimes these Sandman teams will perform the surgery right in the target's own residence, leaving nothing behind and no evidence. Whosoever 
Whatsoever, Sandman teams may also perform, perform surgeries in an unmarked van just outside the Target's residence. And you wonder why you got these white vans sitting outside your house all the time? They're not just beaming frequencies at you. They, you know, some people probably get inducted. Probably mostly females, too. Especially females that live by themselves. When you're sexy, too, you look like J-Lo or, or, or Keisha Coles or something, and they're going to target you. You know what I'm saying? You in the house by yourself and you got a little poodle dog or they're they going to kill the dog. They're going to get you. How do I know all this is true? I have been studying and researching this subject for over seven years and I read secret hack government reports. They are basically said the same. They, they all basically said the same thing. This is a secret criminal group which operates above the law. Woo! Like Steven Seagal. Above the law. Since they have access to all the latest, most expensive, and best technology, their chances of getting caught continue to dim to diminish. So please, all that that crap I be hearing people talking. Oh man, their time is coming to an end, and blah 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 and blah. Just shut your behind up. Who where did you get that information from anyway? It's like it's like that's starting to become a repeated pattern. I'm hearing people say. Oh man, their time is short. Their time is short. Oh man, their time is a man. Shut up. Until you provide some credentials about that, then shut your mouth. Cause you just sound retarded. Cause this has been going on for a long time. People leaving comments. Oh man, the most high going to bring this to the light. Yeah. After millions have died. Then you're going to bring it to the light, man. Shut your behind up. It says they since it says since they all since they have access to all the latest most most expensive and best technology, their chances of getting caught continue to to diminish. You already know the technology they got out here. Perpetrators are all are also famous for poisoning or murdering and um uh multi multi mutilating a target's pets. Yeah, now you hear about that all the time. You hear about um, Target's pets getting killed or sexually assaulting and or murdering a Target's children or family members. Nothing could be more evil and diabolical than these groups of, of the devil's workers. If what has already been disclosed is not disturbing enough, <laughs> Pets of targeted individuals are often implanted with optic nerve implants and auditory implants. Now see, now see with this, let me read that one more time. Hold on. It says, um, target individuals are often implanted with optic nerve, optic nerve implants and auditory implants. And this is the reason why you get the V2K, the sounds, um, all types of frequency sounds because now, see, the technology is so advanced that they can just hit you with the frequency from the satellites. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to um, grip you up and implant you and do surgery. They don't have to do that no more. They don't have to do that no more. They could beam. You could have a pit bull. Remember that video I did about the pit bull attack that little, that little girl? And that was their dog? So, obviously, they done beamed the pit bull. Allowed the pit bull to attack their own family. They could do this with the technology, with the frequency. Now, your beloved and cherished dog or cat through the implant system becomes an unwitting spy. Seeing and hearing all that the pet come, hold up. Seeing and hearing all that the pet comes in contact with allows the perpetrators to get an even closer look into the target, the targeted individual's life. Now, I'm going to stop right there, man. I'm going to stop right there because there's way more because I, I ain't got that much space on my phone. So I'm going to stop right there. Like, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to hear some more because I got a whole bunch of more information to give. So like I said, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment and share this video to like a thousand people, man. All right? Holla back. You already know Gangstalk Assimilation. Is the best channel on YouTube. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Let, let me just read this one last thing. 
Perpetrators are very cunning and, and sly. They will wait for the perfect moment to abduct or drug the victim or to gain access to the victim's home. In this respect, they can be compared to the hungry coyote that will wait outside a rabbit's den for days. <laughs> Real. When the mother rabbit finally leaves for food and water, the coyote invades the den and carries off and eats her young. Prostitution, drug dealing, money laundry, illegal gambling, and racketeering provide huge incomes in the criminal organization. The question that is often asked is, why is there no news coverage of this crime? What you say, brother? What you say? A question, a question that is often asked is why is there no news coverage of this crime? There is there is literally a media blackout on organized stalking, electronic harassment, and mind control. Ain't that something, y'all? Everything a perpetrator wants, everything a perpetrator wants to use on a target is available on the internet. I'm gonna stop right there. Now y'all already know. See, this is the reason why you can't believe the bull crap on the news because see. Since I've been in this program, they really, really woke me up and realized, allowed me to realize that what you see on TV, like everybody talking, all these platforms talk about Kanye West. Now, you already know how I feel about Kanye West. I got nothing but love for him. But at the same time, he's in the program, too. And this is another reason why nobody ain't understanding what's really, really going on. I hear all these platforms talk about Kanye West, this and this and that, that and that and this. They will never understand what Kanye West is going through until they become the target, like Kanye West. Kanye West is being gang stalked all day. You see what I'm saying? He's under mind control all day. He's been breaking the mind control. You see what I'm saying? If you watch, if you watch the, the 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 drunk champs with him and um Noriega, he was spilling a lot of beans. You see what I'm saying? So this is really why people don't understand what's going on. Because they don't understand the organized stalking, the organized electronic harassment that's going on in this world. They didn't classify the target individuals as crazy. And I can't bl I can't blame some of them because when you look at a lot of these target individuals videos, man, a lot of people look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Got dumb videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Filming stuff in the sky and got their hands covering and the, the camera and just, you know, like just just talking. People, you know, the average person will look at the video and be like, what the hell is going on here? So I can understand why some people would, you know, deem us crazy. But not all, because some some target individuals got good channels and they speak very good, very articulate and they make sense and they and they show mad evidence. I believe that some of the other people probably just in a way just to, you know, basically make the real targets look bad. But I'm believing at that note. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share it to 10,000 people and don't forget to don't don't forget to subscribe.